Okay, you guys, it's the 4th of July, and I wanted to make some nachos to celebrate. So these are going to end up being red, white, and blue nachos. And in this bowl, I got uh, diced tomatoes. There's about two cups of diced tomatoes, about two cups of diced white onions. I added some cumin, paprika, cayenne pepper, salt, and pepper. And then I added some ground coriander as well because I, I didn't want to put cilantro in here um, or peppers because I wanted to keep the theme of red, white, and blue. Then I added about the juice of uh, one and a half limes, which I think turns into about a quarter and a cup or a quarter of a cup of lime juice. Um, then I mixed all that together. You want to do this first so that all the flavors can kind of get familiar with one another. And then just set this aside so that we could prepare the spicy peppers. So I got some apple cider vinegar and water, equal parts of both. And then I'm going to add some spicy honey. The reason I'm doing this is because I couldn't find Fresno peppers, which are basically like red jalapenos. So I used mini red bell peppers, but I really wanted to achieve that spice. So the spicy honey kind of helped me out with that. This gets bring, uh, brought to a boil. I add some salt, I add some pepper, and then I smashed a few cloves of garlic. And this is a totally an optional uh, thing here. I like the flavor of garlic when I quick pickle things. So I added the garlic to the mason jar of diced or sliced red peppers. And then filled the entire thing up with the hot liquid of the vinegar and the water and the spicy honey. Now let that set aside. That's called a quick pickle. In the meantime, I'm going to melt the cheese, okay? I'm spraying this nonstick pan with cooking spray so that I make sure that the cheese slides off after we melt it. And then adding a bunch of grated pepper jack and grated sharp cheddar. I like the flavor of both of those. We got a little spice, we got a little funk. And then we're gonna start assembling here. So I got blue corn tortillas, which I know they're not really blue, they kinda look more purple, but for this concept, they work perfectly. And then after the cheese has melted, check this out, it slides right off the pan this is this is a great way to make nachos. I've done it like this in the past and I love doing it. Then I'm gonna add some of the spicy pickled peppers on top and you can already see it coming together. It's already... And then once the red peppers are placed on top, that's when I'm gonna spoon over some of that salsa, the onions, the tomatoes. Also the juice is really gonna help with the acidity here. But we have one more thing to do. I got one more element, and that is a little bit of sour cream. This is gonna cool everything down. Check that out. Fourth of July nachos. Blue tortillas, pepper jack cheese, pickled Fresno chilies, a little pico de gallo. Happy fourth. Mm.